Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear students, grade 4 I hope everybody is doing well, inshallah uh, Today our lesson uh, is actually lesson 4 uh, About civilization starts uh, Before that, uh, I have given you an uh, exercise as a homework to do It was uh, page uh, number 104 and uh, uh, thanks for everybody who tried to solve it and uh, the people who uh, could not try to solve it this is uh, the answer model here uh, uh, says that uh, true and false okay here is uh, true and false exercise one uh, people lived in groups called tribes and started building shelters uh, that's true people could not uh, weave clothes clothes that's true people settled down and discovered planting and farming that's true and people invented clay tokens before using tally sticks that is false because actually they invented tally sticks before the clay tokens uh, people in Jericho invented the art of poetry uh, that was true uh, people of Katal uh, uh, Hayak uh, uh, lived in uh, ball shaped houses that is uh, false Katal uh, Hayak is the oldest village it is true all people has to choose their leaders in the same way that is true also uh, the first we are here the first we are here the first and largest real village founded along uh, the Jordan River was the village of Jericho that's true uh, pottery depends uh, on clay and heating and that's true and I have given you also exercise to uh, to unscramble uh, the jumbled walls on of on the left and then match them uh, with their meanings on the right side so here is the word which we have to unscramble which is uh, this one and in fact it is actually Jericho uh, an art that used clay okay and we have uh, actually Jericho it goes with with B it goes with B okay uh, Jericho it goes with the first largest real villages okay and here's this word and scramble this word it becomes pottery and the pottery is an art that uses clay uh, please correct uh, your exercise and ans uh, the answers if you didn't do this one and if you did it i'm very thankful to you today let's start our lesson for about the civilization starts we'll read the lesson together the growth of uh, villages uh, results in the uh, in the rise cities uh, with higher number of people and greater needs this these cities are known today uh, as the first civilizations a civ civilization is a nation uh, or a great number of people with things like money religion and law common to all its individuals uh, as cities start let's drag the base down as cities started growing individual could not do all the jobs needed the idea of having special jobs started arising people became specialized in uh, specific things some people specialized in making tools uh, others were responsible for doing things like pottery or even hunting Uh, people started traveling uh, on long trips to trade or exchange their products 
they made for other new products. Uh, they always traveled in caravans. Caravans are groups of people who travel to trade products they have with products they, that they don't have. Camels were the best means of transportation since they could survive. Uh, the heat and their bodies stored enough water for such long trips. One of the earliest and most famous civilizations appeared in Africa near the Nile River. The Nile River provided people who lived on it on its shores with fertile soil, fresh water and enough food. The first people who settled in the area named their land Kemet. Kemet preferred uh, to the black land since the land was full of black fertile soil. Uh, hieroglyphics were the first uh, forms of written language used by people. Uh, hieroglyphics were uh, pictures and symbols of different objects recorded on cave walls to communicate with others. The Egyptian system of written language later developed into letters and words. Uh, like we see here, my dear students, uh, before uh, the hieroglyphics were living like this, uh, digging on the wall and writing in the wall to communicate with other people. Uh, the sec other part is you have uh, a lesson preview. Uh, please answer these questions, which is at page 108. 108. Please read the lesson and try to answer this question on your own as a homework. And inshallah, we will correct this at the next lesson. Inshallah. Thank you very much, my dear students. And God bless you all.